So basically, um, the ears and the brain has been evolving <clears throat> together to, to work and to bring ideal communication uh, with the world around us. Unfortunately, sometimes that way of communicating with the world is not as ideal as it should. And uh, we have noticed uh, at Neurasonic that a lot of people have uh, difficulties with that communication. So we have developed a way to retrain the ears so that um, the communication with, uh, with the world is actually improving uh, that way. To, to go a little bit deeper into the way it works, uh, there are actually two components to the ear. There is a component that is called the vestibular system and a component that is called the cochlear system. The vestibular system is really specialized into the lower uh, frequencies, which means that it allows the, the, the body actually to situate itself in the world uh, to get a, a feeling of the body image as well and um, uh, to basically feel uh, different uh, emotions in, in the body itself. The cochlear component is very different. It's sensitive more of to the higher frequencies. And for that reason, it is the component that will work on communication itself, meaning the way you hear my voice, the way you, you push away a little bit the element around so that you can concentrate on that. And this is key. Unfortunately, in our world, um, we don't have a lot of ways to train this. And I feel a lot of people have lost the, the understanding that is so important. And I think that's why we see so many children now struggling mm. uh, with body image, struggling with communication, struggling with sound sensitivities and so on. And, and so... You know, what are the profile of the people that you assist? Talk to me about that. So um, this has a little bit evolved over the years. So originally we were working mostly with uh, children with uh, uh, learning disabilities, you know, and it can go from uh, autistic children to uh, dyslexia, dyscalculia, and so on. And we have seen that for most of them, there is definitely improvement in the communication part, but also in the part of the mathematics of uh, the, the behavior, the stimulation, and so on. But over time, we have also realized that it was actually helping way more people than just that. And we have now developed a program that are more targeting the vagus nerve. You know, vagus nerve is a very important nerve in our body that is actually regulating most of the unconscious or automatic function of our body. So... Uh, when that vagus nerve doesn't work properly, we get into a lot of issues. Those issues can be digestion, can be heart issues, can be breathing issues, can be uh, gallbladder issues and so on. And so uh, we have developed programs that are targeting mostly the vagus nerve so that it will allow the vagus nerve to not go either on overstimulation or understimulation, uh, which is detrimental. Uh, to find uh, basically the, the in-between. How? And then program. Yeah. How? How? Yeah. How do you do that? So um, basically we, we implement in the program itself, <clears throat> in the music itself, little changes in the music that force two little muscles that we have in the ears to start working in a different way. By doing that, it actually released the vagus nerve. Vagus nerve is a little antenna that is ending up very close to the ear by the eardrum. And when the, the two little muscles of the ear start working better, then that vagus nerve is actually released of uh, being almost inflamed, if you want, almost overstimulated all the time, mm -hmm. and then can start really monitoring what it's supposed to monitor. Mm 